In September 2015, fishers from the White River community east of Ocho Rios in the St. Anne St. Mary parishes realized they had a problem. The fish were disappearing. Fishers are spending seven times the effort and cost to catch the same amount of fish. Coral reef coverage is down 85% since the 1970s due to severe weather events caused by climate change, sea urchins and overfishing. Inspired by the success of the Arakabese Bay Fish Sanctuary 20 miles east, fishermen from the White River approached the Jamaica Inn Foundation and Hermosa Cove for help. Two years later, the White River Fish Sanctuary got its special fishery conservation area status. It is the youngest sanctuary in Jamaica. It is the newest project around and it is the first one specifically in the Ocho Rios area. We do our three objectives for this sanctuary, which is to protect, restore and engage the community. The Special Climate Change Adapt Adaption Project has really assisted us in ensuring that the primary R in our whole goal, restoration, is done. That goal started becoming a reality when the association got a grant for a 12-month project to build a protected area of 134 hectares using 50 boys and to grow 1,000 pieces of staghorn corals in five nurseries. The White River project is unique in that their project is in the White River. And so when, before they started, they had to get permits, beach permits from Nepal. And this took a while. Um, but because of the persistence of their project manager, Belinda Morrow, they were able to pursue it and finally they got it and so they began the project. They are building up themselves as well as learning about the protection of the corals and the importance to their livelihoods. The whole project was for 12 months. It had two aspects to it. One aspect was the hardware as such needed to delineate the no-take zone. The other part of it really is the growing of the coral, the restoration of the reef uh, to start restoring the barrier the, you know, that's going to protect the coastline. We do restoration work where we have a coral nursery program where we actually have a thousand pieces of corals out there and our aim is to actually put out a thousand pieces of corals onto poor reef habitats in our area. So what we want to do is to create a no-take zone, the idea being that um, that within that area the fish population would come back and so by doing that that would help the reef to come back because the, you know the reef helped the fish and in addition we would grow some corals so we'd restore the reef as well. The sanctuary covers 150 hectares of coral reef, seagrass beds and sand from Hermosa Cove to Prospect. It is operated by the White River Fishermen Association and the White River Marine Association. They are all pushing to see a 500% increase in the fish size and numbers in the next five years. Success indicators include increase in fish stock and coral coverage, healthier marine life and beaches, and better shoreline resilience for coastline settlements. The project implementing team was excited to share some of the progress made including the sanctuary being patrolled 24 hours daily by the WRFA fishers employed as wardens and the coral nurseries being cleaned twice per month by fishers employed as coral gardeners. Those coral gardeners themselves, they are trained up fishermen that are trained to be divers, paddy certified divers, and then trained scientifically by local scientists to go out and take care of the corals themselves. They've assisted us in ensuring that we have what we call demarcation buoys, which are buoys that are out there very visible and they basically say to everybody, fisherman, non-fisherman, anybody that's into the sport, that this is a protected area and there's no fishing allowed inside here. Research shows that Jamaica's fish catches are down 600% since 1950. When we were fishing at first, you could catch big fishes. Now it moved down to inch, inch and a half size now that most of the fishermen are catching. Inch and a half fish, half inch fish. And when you go out there, it's like, like, like almost no fish. The project was funded by the Special Climate Change Adaptation Fund. The fund is administered by the Environmental Foundation of Jamaica for the adaptation program and financing mechanism of the pilot program for climate change resilience. That project funds the coral gardeners, which are key persons in ensuring that those actual corals grow. It funds us to go inside the communities 
and create what we call alternative livelihoods. So those fishermen are transformed into another work. They're multifaceted. They have different areas that they work in. They'll be a fisherman on, on one part of their time, and the other part of the time they're buoy maintainers. If we get a training how to patrol, we caught a lot of people because some of them say they didn't know that it is open. Some didn't take it serious, but for everybody, we give them a first warning. We have a contact with the water police if somebody somebody decide to violate you, we call the water police and they will take it from there. The experience with White River Marine Park is that the fisher folks whose livelihoods were threatened by climate change have now refocused and are now involved in coral gardening which is a means of livelihood that we see that is a viable alternative and this experience will provide a good example for other coastal villages to implement climate change measures that deal with the issue of depleting coral reefs in Jamaica. Yes, I have a passion for it, you know, because trust me, at 30 years, I go fishing. And me know what a sanctuary can bring. It motivates me a lot. So me, as a water you now, me love it. I want to be a part of it. We have to thank God for it, because it has done a great thing in White River, and it is a big upliftment. And I feel that the fish there will grow.